guys. It is a sweltering hot midsummer day in early April. That would be Tuesday, April 8th or April 9th, 2019, somewhere around here where I think we're about 92, 93 degrees today. It will be hot, even hotter tomorrow. Can't wait to be at a folk festival out in the blazing sun rotting my brains with my clueless moron friend. So uh, I'm going to try to get a final We Are So Fucked Doomer headline of the day before I leave out of here tomorrow. Then I'm done with the fucking Doomosphere till Monday. But that's tomorrow and this is today. And uh, good God, with everything else I have going, trying to get ready for this folk festival and sell this gas sucking truck trying to choose which one Aegean Sea sees very unusual spike in dolphin deaths yep. from dead dolphins to dead pangolins 36,000 Endangered pangolins thought to have been killed after Singapore makes record seizure of the animal's scales. The pangolin has been, uh, is now, particularly now, uh, been listed as critically endangered, is the world's most heavily trafficked uh, wildlife on the planet. There must have been about a hundred billion pangolins on the planet uh, ten years. Never heard of these things till a few years ago, and now they're the hottest thing on menus in China. From thirty-six thousand dead, they were found in the back of a truck in sub-Saharan Africa. I'm pretty sure. Since this came out yesterday, uh, that everyone else in the Doomosphere has already covered this. I know that Paul Beckwith is, uh, is, this is about all that Paul talks about, as he should, since it's uh, one of the, perhaps the biggest story on the planet. But I'm going to let Paul Beckwith uh take over from here. I'm just going to share this, a little bit of this from Common Dreams. Researchers warn the Arctic has entered a, quote, unprecedented state that threatens global climate stability. Hmm. Never have so many Arctic indicators been brought together in one single paper and the findings spell trouble for the entire planet. Yes, do you think so? Uh, in case you're not aware of this, uh, changes in the world's northern polar region is rapidly warming air temperatures that are having and will continue to have massive and negative impacts across the globe. But if you want to find out more about that, I'm sure Paul is ranting about that today. So I'm just going to dive into, uh, I think, maybe eight of my Alert Tribes members have sent me this uh, faster than thought headline of the day, the no shit Sherlock, uh, worse than previously thought and a hell of a lot faster than previously thought. And we are talking glacier melt. Global warming is shrinking glaciers faster than thought. This is the LA Times covers. This story is all over. Uh, the mainstream media today. This is what the LA Times has to say about it. Earth's glaciers are melting much faster than scientists thought. 
A new study shows they are losing 369 billion tons of snow and ice each year, more than half of that in North America, strangely enough. The most comprehensive measurement of glaciers worldwide found that thousands of inland masses of snow compressed into ice are shrinking 18% faster than an international panel of scientists calculated in 2013. The world's glaciers are shrinking five times faster now than they were in the 1960s, and their melt is accelerating because of global warming and adding more water to already rising seas. The study found, this is Michael Zemp, lead author and director of the World Glacier Monitoring Service at the University of Zurich. Quote, over 30 years, suddenly almost all regions started losing mass <coughs> at the same time. That's clearly climate change if you look at the global picture. Close quote. The glaciers shrinking fastest are in Central Europe, the Caucasus region, Western Canada, the U.S. lower 48 states. I didn't know that the 48 states, I didn't know there was a glacier in Texas or Louisiana or Florida. How many states of the lower 48 do have glaciers. Well, come back in a year, the answer will be none. New Zealand and near the tropics. Glaciers in these places, on average, are losing more than 1% of their mass each year, according to a study in Monday's journal Nature, quoting Zemp. In these regions, at the current glacier loss rate, the glaciers will not survive the century. Mm. The question is, will they survive the decade, which I think ends next year? <clears throat> Zemp's team used ground and satellite, satellite measurements to look at 19,000 glaciers, far more than previous studies. They determined that southwestern Asia is the only region of 19 where glaciers are not shrinking, which Zemp said is due to local climate conditions there. Since 1961, the world has lost 10.6 trillion tons of ice and snow, the study found. That is enough to cover the lower 48 states in about four feet of ice. Scientists have known for a long time that global warming caused by human activities like burning coal, gasoline, and diesel for electricity and transportation is making Earth lose its ice. They have been especially concerned with the large ice sheets covering Greenland and Antarctica. But this study is, quote, telling us there is much more to the story, said Mark Ceres, director of the National Snow and Ice Data Center in Boulder, Colorado. Quote, the influence of glaciers on sea level is bigger than we thought. A number of factors are making sea levels rise. The biggest cause is that oceans are getting warmer, which makes water expand. The new figures show glacier melt is a bigger contributor than thought, responsible for about 25 to 30 percent of the yearly rise in oceans. Rising seas threaten coastal cities around the world and put more people at risk of flooding during storms. 
Glaciers grow in winter and shrink in summer, but as the earth has warmed, they are growing less and shrinking more. Zemp said warmer summer, te summer temperatures are the main reason glaciers are shrinking faster now. While people think of glaciers as polar issues, shrinking mountain glaciers closer to the equator can cause serious problems for people who depend on them, said Twyla Moon, a snow and ice data center scientist who was not part of the study. She said people in the Andes, for example, rely on the glaciers for their drinking and irrigation water each summer. A separate study Monday in environmental research letters confirmed faster melting and other changes in the Arctic. It found that in winter the Arctic is warming 2.8 times faster than the rest of the northern hemisphere. Overall, the region is getting more humid, cloudier, and wetter. And this is going back to that original story. And we're going to close up there in the Arctic with a uh, quote from the famous We're Fucked. Remember climatologist Jason Box backpedaling a little it's on steroids. It's hyperactive, which is Jason Box's new way of saying we are so fucked from the Arctic to the uh, from the Arctic to anywhere with a glacier, pretty much. Anyway, uh, the other story in the running was Vladimir Putin outlines ambitious Arctic expansion program, but uh, I thought that we would, that I would run that on that other channel, Collapse Chronicles, for anybody who does not understand a chronicle of the collapse of everything from global industrial civilization to the uh, to the planet. It's what else is going on up there in the Arctic other than starving polar bears. And But you'll have to come over to Collapse Chronicles for that article. Smoke them if you got them, and we all know why. Bye, guys.